in Klamath Falls. Time. The standoff between a SWAT team and the heir to a fortune continues tonight. Police say John DuPont shot Olympic wrestling great Dave Schultz last night. Now he's facing off with police as they try to negotiate an end to that standoff. Kristen Z is in Pennsylvania. Tonight, the phone line to the mansion is working. The line was destroyed in a fire here last October, but it was fixed early this morning. Since then, police negotiators have been calling DuPont approximately once every hour from a locked room at the local fire station, which serves as the command center. Officials characterize the conversations as longer than 30 seconds, but they won't say if DuPont is coherent or despondent. He's refusing to come out, and at this point, police have no plans to force him out. I've not heard any plans this to do to shoot tear gas in or go in because he is not, to my knowledge, indicating, you know, he is not threatening anyone. Since he's in there, he is armed, but he's not made any motions that I know of that's putting anyone in danger. Tonight, 75 police officers, including 30 SWAT team members, are prepared to stay the night. Cots have been set up in the estate's wrestling compound for them to take naps, and food has been delivered to them as well. Police say DuPont probably has food in the mansion, but they don't believe he's had much rest. If he's sleeping, it's got to be catnapping. You know, they've been frequent enough because he, he, yeah, he couldn't have had time to take a you know, regular night's sleep or an elongated nap or anything. Meanwhile, onlookers continue to gather outside the estate. Many still can't believe that the 57-year-old heir to the DuPont chemicals fortune is now wanted for the shooting of an Olympic gold medalist in wrestling, 36-year-old David Schultz. This teenage girl lives on the estate. Her he's, father he's really tends the greenhouse for DuPont. Did you know Dave Schultz also? Yeah, he was really nice to me. He offered me rides when I was walking home from school, and he was always so sweet. That was Kristen Z reporting. Police say last night DuPont shot Schultz outside his car. Schultz was training on the DuPont estate for the 1996 Olympics. I'm Andrea Zenga in Atlanta. Here are the top stories. SWAT teams still surround the DuPont mansion outside Philadelphia. John E. DuPont, an heir to the chemical company Riches, remains barricaded inside. Police suspect he shot and killed Olympic wrestler Dave Schultz, who lived on the 800-acre estate. Schultz was training for a comeback at the 1996 Games in Atlanta. Friends describe DuPont as an eccentric millionaire with an avid interest in Olympic sports and guns. Police won't discuss a motive for the shooting. They do confirm DuPont and Schultz had argued. Former News and media are being moved back from the entrance to the estate of John DuPont outside Philadelphia. Police will not give a reason for the movement. This is the third day the multimillionaire has been holed up in his Pennsylvania mansion. The longtime supporter of Olympic wrestling is a suspect, in fact is the suspect so far, in the shooting death of the Olympic wrestling champion who was shot to death on Friday. Police turned off the heating in the house Friday night in order to turn up the negotiating pressure, but they haven't turned it up too far. DuPont was allowed a night's sleep and given a wake-up call by police. The hostage negotiators have been talking with Mr. DuPont. They know his mental state, his emotional state, and they must have felt that's what he needed to continue uh, to negotiate it on a better, a better line. About 75 police officers are surrounding the DuPont estate outside Philadelphia. John DuPont suspected of shooting to death Olympic wrestler David Schultz. Schultz's wife is quoted as having said she saw DuPont kill her husband. Since the shooting death of uh, an Olympic champion wrestler on the estate on Friday afternoon, the wrestler's wife having been quoted as saying she saw DuPont shoot her husband. DuPont, police said early on in the standoff, was their only suspect in the shooting. He is uh, to be charged with the shooting. He is in custody now. He has surrendered. And as more details evolve uh, on the story, we'll bring them to you. This is CNN Sunday Weekend. Future Watch is in progress now, and we join the program as it rolls. This is CNN Breaking News. Last night, three hours later, sharpshooters spotted him moving from room to room. Police are pleased that their patience paid off. This Sunday began as local churches prayed for a peaceful resolution. We pray for your child, your son, John DuPont, as he considers his life. Dave Schultz's father, Phil, wishes the prayers were not necessary. I am so uh, sorry for this man. I, I feel such uh, pity. 
Schultz said he thought that his son should have left DuPont long ago. Wrestler Dan Shea did leave the estate last October, but not before, he says, DuPont pointed a gun at him. He's obviously mentally unstable to begin with. And then, you, you know, you add drugs and alcohol, and he could just, you might, uh, it's like a Jekyll Hyde syndrome. DuPont had a history of threatening people who have lived here on his estate. The question is, what happened last Friday? What made him allegedly kill Schultz? One wrestler who asked not to be identified said that in recent weeks, DuPont became more and more reclusive and agitated. Greg Stobel coached wrestling for four years at DuPont's athletic center until he left voluntarily last March. DuPont was a bit paranoid in that every, he thought everybody was after his money and the, and the only people around him were because of his money. And uh, I assured him on many occasions that the wrestlers that were here were here for really one purpose, and that's to be wrestlers. Last spring, without warning, DuPont told nine wrestlers, including Olympic hopeful Trevor Lewis, who had trained here for four years, that they had to leave immediately. His moods would change, like at the drop of a hat, he could stand there and yell at, at a butler and then turn around and be just as nice as he could be to me. And Late today, DuPont was charged with the murder of Dave Schultz, one of America's greatest amateur sports heroes. James Walker, ABC News, Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. What DuPont didn't seem to understand was that police cut off the heat. We had the officers turn the boilers off, and that accounted for the heat, of course, being off. And then uh, the subsequent uh, reason that Mr. DuPont uh, went out of the house today. DuPont had been holed up in his mansion since Friday afternoon. Just prior to barricading himself inside his home, DuPont allegedly shot Olympic wrestling champion David Schultz. Schultz, who won a gold medal in the 1984 Summer Olympics, lived with his family in a home on the estate. It is at that home that police say DuPont drove up and shot Schultz in the driveway. Schultz's wife, Nancy, was a witness to the event. The family's grief was evident on the face of Schultz's daughter as her mother explained their loss. My family must now turn its focus and energy to my children, Alexander and Danielle, who have had a very close relationship with their father and who are struggling to understand how and why this tragedy happened and how they will possibly fill this void in their lives. DuPont, an heir to the chemical fortune, is a sports enthusiast. He built a 14,000 square foot fox catcher training center on his estate and recruited Olympic caliber wrestlers, some of whom, like Schultz, lived on the estate. Neighbors described DuPont as eccentric, his behavior becoming increasingly so in recent months. Jack Cuvo is a wrestler who was sponsored by DuPont. He would talk to the walls. Um, he, was, he would talk to the walls. He said that he would, he would hear things in there and, uh, and that he would thought he saw things in his, he would see things. He just went crazy, I think. And, and he, he would see things uh, in his bed moving like they were animals and stuff. And well, DuPont has since been taken to Delaware County Jail where he is being held without bond. He has been charged with first degree murder along with a number of lesser charges. Now, in the end, it appears that it was not just the police negotiations which resulted in DuPont's arrest, but quite simply his own mistake. Jean? Cynthia, have police found what they believe to be the murder weapon yet? Well, when we last talked with police, they were searching for a 38 caliber pistol. Uh, at the time, they did not tell us whether or not they found that weapon, but that is indeed what they are looking for. And they did have permission to go into uh, Mr. DuPont's home to look for it. Cynthia Tornquist in Newtown Square, thanks for joining us. Denise? G DuPont is charged with first degree murder in the shooting death of an Olympic gold medal winning wrestler. Dave Schultz was shot and killed on the DuPont estate Friday. After the shooting, the heir to the DuPont chemical fortune began a two-day standoff with police. It ended with his capture Sunday. Olympic Games, he won an Olympic gold in 1984. His wife, Nancy, surrounded by their children, Danielle and Alexander, fought back tears as she read a statement at a local church. Our family is devastated and saddened by Dave's brutal and unexpected loss. He was not only a world-class athlete, coach, and mentor, but a devoted and loving father to our children and husband to me for the past 14 years. Dave will be missed so much by his family, friends, and the wrestling community around the world. It was a long two days for police here who surrounded DuPont's sprawling 800-acre compound, fearing he was heavily armed, knowing his reputation as an expert marksman. 
Police decided to negotiate. On Friday night, they turned off his heat. On Sunday, DuPont stepped outside to fix it. He was not tricked into going out of the house. He expressed to us through negotiators that he was cold and that he was going to leave the house to fix his heater. And it was at that point when he was out of the house on the north side of the building, uh, pardon me, on the east side of the building, that the apprehension was affected and made. John DuPont has already been arraigned on first-degree murder charges. He faces another court hearing and even more charges later this week. Tim Scheld, ABC News, Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. That court appearance is expected to be tomorrow. Police say they're pleased with the resolution. Where that Mr. DuPont was in Mr. Goodale's car. He drove down the driveway towards Mr. Schultz's house, pulled up in front of Mr. Schultz's house. Mr. Schultz walked towards Mr. DuPont's car, and at that time, Mr. DuPont uh, fired three shots, striking Mr. Schultz and killing him. Is there any explanation for why this happened? We've been asked that probably a hundred times in the last two days. We do not have a motive, nor do, do any of our witnesses have a motive or possible uh, motive for this killing. It's a, it's a mystery at this time to us why he would do such a thing. Mr. Strobel, is it a mystery to you? It certainly is. I'm, I'm shocked by it. Uh, surprised by it is another word. Um, I worked there for four years. Uh, never saw violent tendencies. Uh, of course, he was uh, eccentric, but uh, I think we could, uh, we could deal with that. Why did you leave his estate and his employ in June of last year? Well, I worked for him for four years, and uh, it was a tremendous opportunity for me as a coach. Uh, and then I had an opportunity in, in uh, actually April uh, to become the head coach at Lehigh University, and it's what I've wanted to do for my coaching lifetime, so uh, just to move on to a better job. So you didn't leave because of any erratic people behavior that other people have described in Mr. DuPont? No, uh, my agreement uh, working for Mr. DuPont was a limited engagement. Um, he hired me in 91 to work for him uh, through this Olympiad. So when the job came up to, uh, to move on to Lehigh, I, I took that opportunity. Mr. Mayo, you had a different experience while you worked at the estate. Can you describe to us some of the, the more bizarre things that you witnessed? Yes, uh, my experience with, with Mr. DuPont was different from Greg's. I was a wrestler. Um, my job was to, to wrestle hard and, and win, um, and, and I tried to do that, but I, I knew that there were some things that I would have to deal with uh, with Mr. DuPont. He was, he was strange in some ways, but he, he had such a good heart and he meant well that you dealt with his um, his his different ways of dealing with things. What were um, some or, of those eccentricities? Did you actually see him wield a gun? I, I've, I've seen him carry a gun around a number of times. But to be honest with you, I wasn't sure if the gun was loaded until Friday. And, um, you know, I mean, I would tell him to, to put the gun down when I was, when I was in his presence. Um, but, but I never thought in a million years that he would ever use it. I thought, I thought he was harmless. Apparently, he, something happened, something ticked him off, and, and he used the gun. People were well aware of the fact that he was an expert marksman. Did it strike you as odd that, that he would have the gun on with him during those training sessions? No, it, that, that wasn't strange. You, nothing was strange with, with, with Mr. DuPont. You just, you just dealt with those, those situations. Like I said, I, I didn't think he, he would be harmful to anyone, and I, I think the wrestlers felt the same way. You um, were aware, though, that he did pull a gun on another wrestler. Uh, yes. Did that frighten you? That's, that's when, I, when I really said to myself, hey, there's something wrong with this guy. Dan Chade was someone that, that worked hard, was loyal to Mr. DuPont, and I don't think there was any reason for him to do that. Um, th that was when I said, Mr. DuPont needs help. Um, that, that, was where, that was where someone had to step in and, and do something. And Lieutenant Hunter, your department has taken some heat for allegedly ignoring some of the complaints that you had heard about Mr. DuPont's erratic behavior. The, the suggestion is that 
that Mr. DuPont and the police department had a very cozy relationship that he allowed for some of you to train uh, on his estate. Can you defend your position this morning? The uh, training uh, facilities that were offered by Mr. DuPont to our police department were closed down approximately 10 to 12 years ago. He turned the uh, indoor range, shooting range, into a uh, workout area for the wrestlers. Since that time, we have basically had a very distant relationship with Mr. DuPont. Uh, some of our police officers have at times hunted on his property with his permission, uh, but as far as that goes, there's been no cozy or close relationship with Mr. DuPont. In the late 1960s, early 70s, Mr. DuPont um, helped our police department on numerous occasions with um, a helicopter, tracking dogs, uh, some training for our, our weaponry. Uh, but other than that, we have not had a very close relationship with Mr. DuPont uh, to date. Lieutenant Hunter, Mr. Strobel, Mr. Mayo, thank you all for your time this morning. We appreciate your joining us. We're going to take a break here at 15 minutes after the hour.